Dear Dairy, you know, I once again forgot to record something yesterday. <laughs> so I figured I'd start recording now because it's 10 minutes to 7. Oh my God, I never record this early. But then I almost never record on Saturday, except for, you know, today and last Saturday and maybe two Saturdays before. But the point is, um, yeah, I got, I guess it was around eight or nine last night and I was working on something. Oh, I was, uh, I had just come back. I was actually over to a friend's house having dinner. And when I got back here, it was like closing in on, I think maybe 1030 or so. And I was like, okay, so I've got, I've got, uh, Adobe Premiere Pro, you know, CS5 on this key fob, which is installed and working. So now I just need to figure out how to use it. Um, <laughs> hopefully my housemate will be able to help me with that because he, he uses it a lot. So he should be able to, plus uh, most of the, the instructional videos that I found online, the ones that I watched today, oh, not easy to watch. Not at all. Um, uh, I, I appreciate the fact that people want to be helpful, but as as my housemate and I were talking about earlier, if your audience does not, if they can't stand to watch your your how to video, it's not a, it doesn't matter how pertinent and useful the information is if it is not presented well. <laughs> you know, I mean, I I was watching one earlier today and I fell asleep while watching it, which is saying something because I had just gotten up from a nap about a half an hour before that. So <clears throat> the fact that I can go from, okay, cool. Awesome. Let's learn how to use, you know, Adobe Premiere. Which is, mm -mm -mm. And it's not like you can blame it on, blame it on the diabetes. No, you can't do that. Nope. Nope. Cause that, that doesn't apply in this case. I was as amped and jazzed and, and, and not yawning as I am right now. And I went from that to just out which normally, normally you could blame on on the beatus. Not this time. This was not a a proto would be diabetic coma. This was, oh my god, this guy is boring. I mean, oh, could have could have. Uh, I'm gonna have to find. I, I I think I'm just gonna have to ask my housemate. To, I just I hate to do that because I know he doesn't like teaching people. Um, <laughs> primarily because it's like, okay, so this is, you do this and this and this, and if I don't get it, he's kind of like my dad in that respect, that it's, it's so common knowledge for him and he's so used to it working and, and just it doing what it's supposed to do because he understands how to use it. My father's kind of the same way <clears throat> as evidenced by algebra. If I'm trying to do algebra or calculate a tip on, on a, you know, check at a restaurant and I can't quite figure it out. He gets very frustrated, but he's an engineer. You know, he's really good at math. He just apparently never shared the math genes with me or something. Um, or they got deactivated while they were incubating inside my mother, whatever. And it was probably all the pot she smokes or whatever. Um, <laughs> which somehow brings up a part of the discussion from last night because um, when I was over uh, having dinner with my friends, which is my ex-boyfriend and his boyfriend, I was having dinner with the two of them, and um, uh, he was like, not, "Not my, not my ex." His boyfriend was saying, "You know, hey, do you mind if I uh, smoke real quick?" And I'm like, "Oh, go ahead. Well, I'll just step out." He's like, "Well, I'm not actually smoking weed. It's this other." And he starts talking, blah, blah, you know, pot technical terms that I don't understand. Something with flour in it or something. I, blah, 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 Boom. And I'm like, I, uh, he's like, well, I'm not actually burning any plant materials. I don't know what you're talking about. Look, I'll just go to the restroom and get some more water. Not at the same time. And I will come back and hopefully everything will be fine. And so anyway, we got to talking about it later, but you know how pot affects me and stuff. And I told him about the time that I had that, that 16th of a cookie, you know, and I got the auditory hallucinations and everything. And then just clocked out for like eight hours um and he was like wait you had how much of a cookie 
And I was like, like a 16th of a cookie, if that. And he's like, do you know how much pot that is? I'm like, no, <laughs> I mean, what a tablespoon. I don't know. I don't know this stuff. I don't do drugs. I don't understand. He's like, that, that's like, like an insanely small amount. And for it to hit you the way it did, you've got to be just insanely sensitive to that stuff. I'm like, I know that's why it gives me migraines. If I just sit in a room where people are smoking it, that's why my husband's have to smoke in the garage because it just, gah. you know, if I'm outside, like the aforementioned at a drum jam and I'm passing the bomb, you know, it, there's enough fresh air and air circulating around and whatnot, at least with the fire pulling everything up and away from us, that, that it doesn't get dense enough that it doesn't bother me as long as people don't blow the smoke in my face, you know, but if I'm in a room, mm, no, no, it gets very bad. Anyway, I'm ricochet rabbit. Um, it's a broom. Probably couldn't hear that, or at least you won't be able to after I run the noise removal filter off the background. Um, what can I talk about aside from all of this? Because it's six and a half minutes of just yabbering about. Ex-boyfriends, no boyfriends, and pot so far. Um, uh, and and Adobe, because, you know, those all go together. Uh, just got to learn how to use Adobe, and I'll be fine. Um, January, coming up real soon. Real soon. My father sent me a lovely Christmas card. It's so sweet. I want to read this to you. It's so fantastic. Uh says you're a special son okay it's it's a thomas kincaid oh i should probably show it to you it's it's fantastic it's kind of like that snow snowy house it's got glitter all over it you probably can't glitter everywhere glitter 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 yeah so it says you're a special son and inside it says a son's a gift a family treasure a daily joy a lifelong pleasure now if you know my sense of humor, then you know my father's sense of humor because I can be a raunchy son bitch. And something like that, some part of my brain is just going to twist up and take it in the most horrifically erotic, well, not horrifically erotic because that's like pyramid head, but um, not, not a pyramid head kind of way, but, you know, kind of a, a taboo. Oh, like any of you are old enough to have watched Taboo when it came out. I wasn't either, but I did anyway. Um, anyway, so, you know, it's, it was a porno about incest back in the 70s. Let's move on. Um, not that I have sex with my dad. I don't. <laughs> I'm just saying that this is, this is the sort of thing that, that somebody would say this, and my dad and I would both go, <laughs> you know, I'm just, I'm just saying. <clears throat> and then on, on the other page, eventually when i get there it says a son like you brings more than pride you bring smiles and laughter to family moments warmth caring to the lives you touch and an ever deepening happiness <laughs> sorry um to the hearts of everyone lucky enough to be part of your life merry christmas with love and then he wrote in something damn engineers in their handwriting they're almost as bad as doctors kidding dad <laughs> not kidding um <clears throat> Uh, the many miles between us are no match for the love and the respect we share for each other. For each other? It should be with each other. It's okay. He's an engineer. He's not a writer. Uh, and says Christmas 2013. But yes, that's that's my dad. I love my dad. I love my father. Um, yeah, awesome guy. So there, now you've had this brief peek into my father's inner workings. Maybe I should rephrase that. Um, cause I've got enough friends who are into older guys that they know that he and I look very, very much alike. And that basically if you take me and you add 20 years, that's what he looks like. Um, <clears throat> then I've got a lot of my gay friends who are like, really? And I'm like, D don't don't do that. <laughs> That's a little bit creepy because it's also a little bit hot. Just there's, there's, there's enough of a, of a perverted side of me here that thinks, you know, wow, imagine my dad with some, Never mind. That's for TMI Tuesday. I'll just leave that be. Um, 
but yeah, imagine. Well, you don't imagine it. I mean, sometimes my friends make me imagine it. They force they force it to me, into me, into my brain. Okay, so uh, ten and one quarter minutes. I should probably, um, you know, let you guys go. Although, I mean, I've I've started recording so early. I don't know what. The, <laughs> I mean, it's like I've got all this time to talk, and the housemates are gone because they're, you know, they've. I mean. One is still in San Diego visiting his family. The other three are on their way to Concord, I think, over near Sacramento. Well, Concord's not near Sacramento, but it's it's that direction. You know, basically, if if San Jose is here, and I live here, and San Francisco is here, Concord is like over here, kind of thing. Um, sorry, I drew that kind of small. Just take it to CSI and tell them to enhance it. Enhance, enhance, enhance. It is some kind of dance routine. I, I often find myself dancing in this chair. It's very strange. It's my dancing chair. And one of the legs is coming off. It is, it, well, it's, it's, it's not supposed to be a computer chair. It's not meant for that. It's, it goes with this dining room table right here. And, um. Since I'm constantly scooting back and forth as I'm getting up and sitting down, the legs are starting to come unnailed and unglued and starting to come apart. It's like, yeah, so I gotta, gotta go fix its legs, hobble it like Annie Bates in, uh, in misery. Is that her name? Annie Bates? Well, um, anyway, so, yo, cock dirty Great movie. Wonderful movie. It's, just it's 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 a feel good movie of of that year, great date movie by the way. Just in case you never <clears throat> taken a date to a movie like that, that and Seven, awesome date movies, just fantastic. Really kind of get you right here. Thirty seven times, and so now that we're at twelve minutes and one quarter, I'm gonna let you guys go, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow, which will be Sunday, and I can actually say that because this time, when I finish encoding and, well, excuse me, rendering and uploading and processing and then publishing, once I've done all of that, it will probably still be Saturday. Oh my God, that is amazing. Absolutely incroyable, which I think is how you pronounce it in French. You have to kind of choke on it a little bit. Incroyable. Oh, and then anything that ends in in BLE, apparently, ends in bl. Like that store, Sur la Table, which they did that joke about on South Park, I think it was. Where the guy's like, welcome to Sur la Table. It's like, do you have such and such? It's possible. I always find that amusing. That's why. Anytime you ever hear me say it's possible, that's what I'm talking about. When I say it, something is adorable, that's what I'm referencing. If I do anything that seems like it should end in able and I end it in bl, that's it. So here we are at 13 and a half minutes. And damn it, go away. Just, just, just go. Shoo, go do your whatever thing is stuff doing. My rice should be almost done pretty soon. So I'm going to go take some hot dogs and dice them up and put them in rice with I'm going to have to make some kind of barbecue sauce or something. I think what I'll do is I'll combine Worcestershire and HP steak sauce. Would you go already? Shoo, go. Be careless.